I thought then, guys, hope you're all doing well. Um, first of all, I'd say, like to say a massive apology for my recent upload schedule. Um, as you can probably imagine, working full-time and um, doing a master's degree. It's quite a bit of a handful, so I'm going to try and get a few more uploads just so I can bang them out over the next few weeks just so that you've got something there. Um, also, another update just before we get started on the topic of this video. The Honda Civic has gone. Um, I've given it to a friend. The car was a car block on wheels, so I'm happy to give that car block to my friend. So it's all good and done. So I'll just show you around my new motor. It's, it's nothing amazing, but it's better than what it was. So here we have my 2009 um, CRI Beefer SE. It's a 1.4. I've lowered it on 1.4 spring. No. It's a 1.4, but I've lowered it on 35 mil Apex springs, and also I've just painted the wheels black. Um, I've got um, something I want to practice as well. Give a little try out on the rear lights here, which I'm going to show you on one of the next videos. But other than that, this is the car, and as you can probably agree, it's better than the Civic. So let's go and head on to the main topic of this video and see how we go. voila so here we go then guys um like i said i did do a video on me actually making the whole induction kit the pricing and everything like that which obviously was stolen when when my car was stolen so there's not much i can actually do about that so i will go into as much detail as i possibly can about this and if you do have any questions then feel free to let me um, know by just sending me a message on my instagram or leaving a message down in the comments so this is all 2.25 or two and a quarter inch hosing from APS Hoses. Uh, they've got an eBay store and a website. So if you want to check them out, then they are really good priced. So, and as well as the couplers, the couplers are Ram Air. They're all two and a half inch, we'll have to go over two and a half inch. So pretty much fair price. So all of these ones, well, this is one. So that's like five pound, five pound, five pound, five pound. So pretty much work it out yourself, but I will put the prices of everything in there when at some point. So there we go. Um, it's all wrapped in heat uh, sport gold tape, mainly because I got it for a very good price and because just because I've got it running through the back of the headers. So now that it's over there, I might get a bit of heat soak. So at, when the time comes, I have got a decap manifold. So before that actually goes in, I will be wrapping those headers just so that I can reduce the heat soak as much as possible. All of these will be getting welded up with the suit on, as I do understand that all of this gold mixed with the red is, um, is a bit rice and overkill. So this is just a temporary fix at the moment. So I have had a bit of issues with clearance at the moment. So uh, while I did, this has all been um, pushed together now, so it's no longer hitting off the top there where you can see that's where it was touching before. Also, the top of the engine bay is all covered in that gold tape because I had quite a bit left over, so I wanted to make my engine bay look flashy. Um, the, my main reason for doing it like this is because I've seen kits off like Roost Motorsport and stuff like that, and you are paying like 130 to 150 quid for a piece of silicon hose, which literally goes from there to there. And if you ever go to Ford Fest, that's literally what everyone's got. And I'm not, I'm all for supporting small companies and that type of stuff. But if I know I can do it better or make it look better for half or at least a quarter about a third of the price, then I'm going to be going to do so. So altogether, this cost me around this much. I can't remember off the top of my head, so I'll add it up later. So that's how much this will cost me. That's including um, air filter, couplers, all of this. All of the couplers are from Ram Air and they do, I think they're like £5 each off their website. So starting off at the system, so the throttle body is right down there. Coming from the throttle body, 60mm to a um, coupler. That goes onto this, which is this um, degree. And then this was a 300mm hose, which I cut down to fit in between here, just to keep it a lot off the rock cover and push it out of the way a little bit. And then that went from a 90. This is a 90, but um, I put that coupler there and it's just bending it a little bit that way because it's quite flexible. So like I said, it is only temporary and it's just to make sure it's functional. And then you've got this one here. This one is cut in half from that one there, just so I didn't have to buy two and don't, if you like overkill it even more with the red. And that's another 300 mil. So that literally goes straight from the back of the fire firewall over the top of the headers and then that leads me to this one, I think it's a 135, please excuse me, noisy bastard across the road. And again, so okay, I think that's a 135 degree and that leads into another 300 which has been cut down to go into this 225 to 3 inch coupler. 
So here we have a 224 to a three inch coupler, which goes to the Funk Motorsport um, air filter. Um, they sponsor me as well as um, people like Oliver Bolton, British Diff Championship, Monkey London. So can't really see like a better company to go with and their prices are amazing in comparison to companies like K&N and Ram Air. So you know that you're definitely getting your bang for your buck. And I, I know a lot, a lot of people out there would probably say the same. Plus they give me some very fancy stickers for my car. So I can't see why I would not do so. All right then guys, so that's the end of this video. Um, the main purpose of this video wasn't to try and make you want to build the exact same intake as me. It was more to inspire you to try and make parts for your car, whether it's vehicle specific or you found on eBay or if it's just random parts that you've just accumulated. So just give it a go. I know that in the Ford community, there is a lot of bias and hatred to unfamiliar things. So just go with it and try it out yourself because I have had a lot of feedback on my intake from professionals and amateurs and they've all given it the thumbs up. So I can't actually, so you can't, you know so just go out and give it a go and don't really care what anyone says so like always thank you so much for watching if you helped you in any way shape or form please feel free to like share and subscribe also follow my instagram at mark and and if you're at ford fest this weekend then come and say hello so thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you next time